Alrighty, my stream's getting started. So basically, my audio did not collect to this, so I'm having to watch the video and record at the same time on the gameplay. So as you see, since I forgot to add my audio, I'm basically going to be showing through of what houses I have. I have the diamond, the heart, the mansion, and the arrow, and I'm basically going to wind up being clicking on one of the houses because I totally forgot. There's the heart. There's the diamond. There's the heart. Again, apparently I didn't know that that was the heart. So yeah, I'm going to wind up playing it and then going, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. And then I'm going to wind up clicking on it again to get into it to see what it looks like because I totally forgot that that was the... And don't worry about the little ghost in the center of the screen. That's because it had an error and I couldn't fix that before I started recording. So don't worry about that little error that you see in the corner. Um, basically, this is another LS heart, which I just realized this as soon as I went back to regular screen. And as I'm getting ready to start, I'm actually getting ready to go into it. I kind of realized that that was the mansion. It basically had a name down there at the bottom of it with the water. That's what I was describing. There's the arrow. And basically I'm deciding on which one that I should do. I couldn't figure out which uh, house I was going to do. But then I decided once I picked a lot, I was going to do, I already had the heart. So we're going to do a circle. And apparently I accidentally clicked on Creative Sims and was like, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. My bad. So now we're going to click on it again and we're going to go ahead and get started. And then we're going to screen in on it. And I'm going to describe on what kind of mode on how I do the modes. So basically I go into different modes. I was checking these out and couldn't figure out what free camera mode was. I never seen that before. That was new. And I just went into sky mode. So basically sky mode is where you can see a full mode of it up in the sky. And before I get started, I started describing how I was going to do this, that I went into doing tiles. And yes, I put tiles down as I'm getting ready to place. I'm kind of glad this thing did not record my voice there. I was so blabbing about all kinds of things. I'm so glad it didn't record that. Kind of glad it didn't because I was blabbing about a bunch of things and my dog was being noisy. And as you see, I'm getting started on making it. And what I realized is when I was making this, I was actually collecting the ideas on how to get this to look like a circle and it did not want to do what I wanted it to do. So I got kind of irritated and was sitting there deciding exactly how I wanted to do this because it did not want to do it in an exact circle like I wanted. So it kind of looks like different so it kind of looks a little different from how I wanted so I decided to kind of edit it a little bit and kind of make it look more like a circle and then I realized that that did not do what I wanted it to do so I had to clear that off Get rid of that part. And then right there I was describing on what kind of tiles I use and how I do it and why I did the tiles and stuff to get the shape. Kind of get the shape just how I wanted it. So when I place the walls it doesn't mess up as I'm doing this. 
now I'm getting ready to describe how I'm getting ready to grab the walls and how I do this and anybody that does architect would know that this is not going to turn into a circle it, it did technically turn into a circle but it did not do what I wanted it to do so I decided to like oh well it looks like a stop sign we'll just call that good enough definitely did not do what I wanted it to do but I was like oh well looks like that's gonna be better enough and as I was getting started I was gonna decide on where to put the door or where to put the beginning of the door and stuff like that. This is where I was deciding and I was talking about how I use only glass doors to put this down. This is why it's called a glass house is because you want to use glass doors. And this is where I was deciding to put a walkway. Um, I couldn't figure out what type of walkway to add so this is why I was looking through it like crazy. I couldn't figure out which one to add, which one would look good. I was deciding and like just going off in my head like which one am I actually going to use couldn't decide so I just tried to do this one and called it good and here's where I start the glass house process I use windows and as you guys notice I don't have any mods that there's a reason for this um, I don't use mods when I'm playing sims I just see no point in it I know they say it oh it upgrades your gameplay well, at this time, I did not have any mods due to the fact that every time I downloaded mods, it crashed on me. So at that time, I just did not have any mods. Um, future videos, you will see mods of different windows, different designs, because I was playing around and that's basically what I will be doing later. Not now, and this video is kind of where I just kind of didn't have any time to add you know different designs I was just kind of just dealing with uh, making it look good and just having normal windows and here's the process of me placing the windows just the way they should be and it will look really good and as you guys seen I did mess up once and I had to fix it and there you go a full finished slightly finished I was getting ready to go add smaller windows because I was trying to see if I could add tinier windows to the scene and make it look a little better. I was showing you guys exactly how it looks with all the glasses around it. I'm actually looking through my windows right now to try to find smaller windows and I was having little luck. I did find one that actually looked pretty good but I could not find any other. I was complaining going why the heck can I not find this? And then I had to pause for a minute to try to look through it really slowly and I still could not find one that would work. That would look small enough to fit on those little tiny corners and apparently I did not. So I was about ready to give up on it. I was still looking, trying really hard to find one and I just, just, I just couldn't, I just couldn't and I was like, well, fiddlesticks. <laughs> And as you see in there, I was actually going off on how I can't find anything to put right there. So I was giving up on it. And I decided to go ahead and figure out what I was going to do. I was going to add where I wanted basically the rooms. And as you've seen, I was getting in my settings and I was going to add rooms. I put one and one because I was like, you know what, we're just going to make this a single basically one house and then I decided oh wait I want to add details to it more and add basically little icons that pop up as soon as you play the game which I love seeing all the time and I was deciding on which ones I should choose I couldn't figure it out so I said homey we'll have a homey feel to it and then I was looking through deciding which one I should do natural lighting basically that would be all for all glass houses I was still trying to decide on what else I should use and I was thinking since it's kind of like a peace and quiet kind of home 
we'll have a peace and quiet one that's a lot easier and then we call that good and as you see here I'm actually rotating the screen so I can decide where I'm going to use uh, basically put certain walls down for bedrooms and this is where I decide to put it right there so I don't have to edit any of the windows and right here as well I did the same thing right here and turned it into a one bedroom I was gonna do a studio but I was just like nah that's not really something I do I kind of did not care to do that I was just like oh there's no reason to add I was deciding that was me pausing for a minute and deciding what to do and here's where I decided to go ahead and put the window doors sorry windows doors so basically um, I basically was saying how I didn't really care to have a privacy kind of thing for my sims because there's no point my sims are just 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 weird there there's no point I mean I don't use mods so you can't see anything which is just good I would rather keep that that way that's that's disturbing if you don't have it where they're going to the bathroom and it's not blocked out that's disturbing as hell it just is I don't know if anybody else is agreeing with me on that but being a mom um, that's disturbing to me so yeah so anyways yes the glass windows are fine you won't see anything the characters do get blurred out there's like a blocky kind of thing whenever the characters are going to the bathroom so I'm fine with that and I'd rather not see them go anyways so I kind of move my screen away from that stuff when they do that anyways because that's just disturbing to me it's disturbing and I use smaller windows at this part to put in the side windows to show that I had to rotate the screen again to find the other small window so basically there you go there's the interior of the glass house as everything is glass in there you literally have everything in glass in the glass windows they all have to be glass or basically it wouldn't be a glass house if you think about it this is where I'm putting in the details to add to the bathroom I just clicked on some and just kind of just added what I did add and here I moved on to the kitchen to give it more of a kitchen fill I thought they would need a kitchen I kind of did the basic normal kitchen where you know they have a stove a refrigerator and a sink and basically that's it any other details I added later I just didn't feel like adding more details because that cause I'm like I'm just gonna move a random sims in there and call it good and that's basically how I do my gameplays I add random sims into the houses I do go back into the house once I place the sims I actually go back in and actually put more details into it like I give them a bed I'll give them like a TV or a couch or something like that so they can watch TV and not be bored but that's basically how I do most of my interior um, now we're moving to the roof and we're gonna start working on the roof as you seen there I was kind of deciding on how the angles I should do on this because I was like should I do it like that or just leave it kind of like that and I was like yeah we'll just leave it like that I do like using the squares I know your guys' thoughts are gonna be why don't you just use different type ones well I didn't feel necessary on doing that because I was just you know what I'm just gonna add this kind of angle and call it good I just was not really wanting to deal with these angles and stuff like that I just didn't have the patience at the time and as you see I'm actually adding more detail towards it to make it look a little better I was deciding okay should I just add more or should I leave it this way and I decided to add more because I thought maybe this would look really good if I just added more to it and that's where I decided to change the angles of the look of the house I thought this was a great idea to change the look of it and I just want to make it look a little better I do not want to forget um, if you guys like this videos and you want to see more please subscribe I would love to have subscribers right now and it would also be grateful and it helps the channel keep growing
Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. I thank you. Oh, and I'm open for suggestions on more glass houses. Just let me know. And this is where I did my final details before ending the video. And basically you'll see that I'm just getting ready to add my last few details before I decide to end the video. I do thank you guys for watching and I do hope you enjoyed my video of my glass houses. I will have more later. I think the next glass house you guys are going to like the most because the Halloween season is coming up. So I think I will do a Halloween themed glass house. Stay tuned to see more. So I messed up and forgot to add on more of my audio. It cut it off at the very end. Uh, whenever I said that I was done with the video, it did not finish up my audio on here because apparently when you pause it, it does not stay recording. Didn't know that. Now we know. But basically I was describing how I'm going to go ahead and do the roof. I know in the audio you guys hear me say I talk about the roof and you're probably like, well, we don't see no roof. Where, where are you, when are you going to do the roof? Yeah, that's the problem with the audio. I accidentally cut it off before I was done with the roof. So basically, yeah, this is the part where you guys seen in the video. I know when my audio is kind of messed up. There's nothing I can do about fixing that. I don't know how to fix it or how to edit it correctly. You can blame me for being the editor. <laughs> but basically I described here on how I was going to do the roof and you guys have already seen in the audio back ahead of time. If you need to go back back through the audio, you guys can check that. Basically I did the same thing. I just edited the house, made the roof look good and that's basically where I was at in my video. I'm just going to leave it at that and I'll add music to the end of it so you guys can see that this is where I did the roof. Even though the video ended or the voice voice thing ended before I could describe how I was doing the roof and I know it looks really bad and I shouldn't have paused it like that. That was my bad. I now know not to do that when making a video. But, like I said, it looks a lot better now that I added on the missing details. And I will also add music to this at the end so you guys can see that I was doing pretty good. And I forgot to do this. My bad. I'm sorry about that, guys. So sorry. But anyways, yeah, please subscribe. It does help my channel and it also helps with viewers and stuff you guys are viewing but you aren't subscribing um, if you please subscribe this will actually help my channel grow and I can actually get out more content with the more it grows the more content so please subscribe guys I really appreciate your subscribing um, if you do like my videos please actually subscribe so you can see more of it and I will have more content. And yes, when I did see in the video that I do appreciate it if you guys will actually give me, uh, you know, give me ideas. I do love the ideas. Comment below to give me ideas on more houses to do and I will totally do that. And if you would like to be featured in one of my videos, at least have your name featured go ahead and put down on the thing on your house that you had to that you would like to have shown and I will actually add you to the video or your name to the video and I will also put it in there that this was your house idea so that everybody can see your channel and that you get subscribers too win-win right so please do subscribe and I am so sorry about the audio being really bad. I do appreciate you guys understanding and thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Um, I'm just going to let it play and kind of just talk through because I really don't want to edit pause again. It messes the whole video up. So I'm just going to sit here and babble and I know some of you guys like hate it when some people do that but you know I don't know what else to say besides my video got messed up and I appreciate you guys understanding but basically right here I'm just kind of like editing details making it look a little better and giving it more of a 
better detail look so that it looks really nice and that it doesn't look weird like I had it. I had it looking a little weird and after I got it just to the perfect angle I wanted it, I kind of panned around a little bit to kind of see if I wanted to change anything, add some details to it, and this is where I added more details to it to make it look a little better and kind of give it a different angle in the back. And that's basically how I did it. Thank you guys.